Hello, welcome, welcome to this episode of the Sycamore Junior, Junior High Daily Video, Video Announcements. Happy Freaky Fight Song Friday. Today is October 11th. Hello, I'm Robert. And hi, I'm Casey. So at Sycamore Junior High, be safe, be responsible, be respectful, and be a problem solver. Thank you for doing the right thing and making good choices. Now it is time where we all stand with our fellow aviators, place our hands over our hearts, and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. You all are fabulous High Five Fight Song Friday individuals. Keep being fabu fabulous and make this a great place to work and learn. Be responsible and remember to check your emails, people. Know your important emails and delete the old ones. Today's tip from our counselors is to keep up with homework. Balancing assignments can sometimes feel a little bit overwhelming. Today's tip from our counselors is to keep up with your homework. Balancing assignments can sometimes feel a little bit overwhelming. With a few strategies and tips, you can manage your workload more effectively and reduce stress. Here's how. Today's tip is to break it down. Large assignments can seem daunting. Break them into smaller, more manageable tasks. For example, instead of writing a complete essay, break it into a research topic, create outline, and write draft. Tackling each part separately can make the process feel less overwhelming. Thanks, counselors, for another great homework tip. Hey, did you know that some of our Jewish friends and family are celebrating the most important time in their culture? Today, they celebrate Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. Now over to Avi and... Welcome to Countries Around the World. I'm Avi. I'm Mr. Rodriguez. So, we have a few questions for you. Where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Chicago. I don't know if a lot of people knew that. Avi, I don't know if you knew that. Um, I remember telling my students, but I'm originally from Chicago on the south side, so I am a White Sox fan. However, uh, both my parents are from Mexico. Oh. So I'm second generation uh, uh, immigrant, I guess you could want to say, yeah. And then what's your favorite food? So, like I said, my parents are from Mexico, and growing up in my house, um, it was kind of like growing up in Mexico. My mom and dad only spoke Spanish to me, uh, so I am bilingual. Mm -hmm. uh, but one of my favorite things that my mom used to make is a very simple dish. Mm -hmm. It was called albondigas. Mm -hmm. Albondigas, can you say that? Albondigas. There you go. It's basically like a, a soup, uh, a meatball soup, essentially, is what it is. Um, it was one of my favorite meals. Always reminds me of, of uh, growing up uh, with mom in, in, in Chicago. So, mm -hmm. and what did you like about your country? Um, well, I used to visit quite often, more than I, I haven't visited probably since high school. Huh? But uh, growing up, my mom and dad uh, had two jobs. Uh, mm -hmm. Babysitting was expensive; they couldn't send me to childcare, etc. So they would always send me to uh, Mexico to live with my grandma for three months. So May, June, July. I would come back early August because that's when we would start school. Oh, wow. So I would visit mom, my grandma I should say, in Mexico. And so um, my favorite thing about it was just how open, how loving, how just we were spoiled by her. Um, you have a grandma, right? Yeah. And so grandma spoils you. Mm -hmm. She gives you candy, gives you whatever you want. It was the same for me. I would visit grandma in Mexico and she would just do the same. Okay, when did you start teaching in the district? Uh, I think, I haven't counted, but I think this is year 14 for me. Um, and I've, this is the only place I've taught. Uh, my students who know me, I've told you my story a little yeah. bit. I'm a career changer, I've gone to different jobs, etc. But this is 14 years for me at Sycamore. Um, the only school I've taught, and I think the only school I will ever teach at. So. It is a good district. It's a great district, yeah. yeah. And then is there anything special that you want to share about your country? 
Um, anything special? Well, obviously, I think most of us are familiar with the food, right? Yeah. Like, everybody loves the food. Who doesn't love a good uh, queso dip or yeah. uh, a fajitas or something? Uh, I think something special for me is just the, uh, the language. You know, I have two kids of my own, uh, Bella and Lucas. Mm -hmm. My students know that. And they are really into the language. They love being able to speak. They love being able to be um, bilingual. And I think that's important in the world that we live in, yeah. that we have that skill so that we can communicate with um, a lot of people. So I think it's the language. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And that was Countries Around the World. Thanks, crew. And Mr. Rodriguez, thank you for helping us learn more about their culture. Okay, next. It's clubs and activities announcements time. Here are some cheer tryout information. The Sycamore Junior High Cheerleading will have an open practice on Wednesday, October 16th, after school from 3.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. They are meeting in the cafeteria the wet on that Wednesday and they, when they return from the four-day weekend. If you have any questions, email emilyflennan at gmail.com or brooksbankk at sycamoreschools.org. Ski slash snowboard club. All students interested in joining skis or snowboard club, please plan on attending a mandatory meeting next Friday, October 18th, in the auxiliary gym during Flex Bell. Let your Flex Bell teacher know you will be attending the day before. You will be given a packet of information that you can use as your pass the following day. Next, next up. up be informed. Know your calendar. Today is the first quarter grade period end date. Make sure to turn in all your work today and finish the quarter strong. Students have a four day weekend this weekend. We have no school on Monday, October 14th or Tuesday, October 15th for teacher work sessions. Mark your calendars for when we return to school next Wednesday, October 16th. It will be picture retake day for students and picture day for staff. On October 18th, the first quarter report cards will be posted online. In October 25th, students will have no school again due to K through 8 conferences. The 2025 SJH yearbook is on sale now. Purchase today for the lowest price of the year. The SJH yearbook club is committed to documenting this school year for you. What are your yearbook today for your lowest price? The cost is thirty-two for each per copy. This price will increase on October thirty-first, twenty twenty-four. Start planning, junior high ghouls and ghosts. Get ready to show off your creative costumes this Halloween. Here are the guidelines to keep it fun and safe. Costume rules: No weapons. Leave any of your weapons or fake weapons at home. No masks. We want to see your friendly faces. Dress, the dress code does apply. Make sure to keep it classy. No disruptions. Costumes show that you sit, learn, and move around without disrupting others. You can do it. Let's make this Halloween a hauntingly good time while respecting our school environment. We can't wait to see your spooktacular outfits. Happy Halloween. Next, Next up. up it's Fight Song Friday time. Okay, everyone, please stand and get ready to sing and clap to our school's fight song. What's up, aviators? I'm Kennedy. I'm Caroline. And I'm Ashlyn. And we're here with the lunch crew. And we're yeah. going to be singing that fight song. Three, two, one. guys and thanks for showing off our school spirit. If your flex bell or group would like to lead a future fight song Friday, please email Miss Jarvis with the flex bell teacher's name or group name to make arrangements with our student leaders. Students celebrating today, Oscar R. Elliot P. And those who celebrate over the students four-day weekend are Wyatt H. 
Hannah L. Edison R. Amin S. Arush T. Maya I. Tyler M. Brielle R. Kira S. Pepper S. Hope you all have a great time celebrating your special day. Next, joke of the day. What's the best way to catch a fish? I don't know. How? Just ask someone to throw it to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Was there already. Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day. Have an incredible four-day weekend. Make positive PBIS choices. Open your mind to new learning. Meet a new friend. And go, go Waves! Wait, do we have bloopers today? Wait, do we have Friday bloopers today? I don't know. Which ends on October 15th. Hi, I'm Abby. Hi, I'm Sophia. So our first question is, where are you from? And how? Oh wait, one second. Oh, okay. I forgot a bully. Highlight the question. Okay, there we go. It's on. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Welcome to, to this episode, episode of the Sycamore Junior, Junior High Daily Video, Video Announcements. Happy, Happy Freaky, Freaky Fright, Fright Song. song. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be careful saying too much at the same time. Yeah. It becomes difficult to understand. Everybody's in. <laughs> What's up, aviators? I'm Ashlyn, and <laughs> I'm Caroline. I'm Lillian. I'm Kennedy. And we're here with the lunch crew. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to be singing the fight song. Three, two, one. I An enthusiastic invite from our girls' volleyball team. Go, girls' volleyball team. Be acing. <laughs> Oh, are we doing it again? Were we supposed to do both two X's? Yeah. yeah. yeah.